And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Welcome back. An active evening across northeast Wisconsin, but things will quiet down over the next couple of hours. Already have, has done so in Green Bay and Appleton. The rain and storms have pushed down to the south, but we still have a few warnings down for southern parts of the viewing area. Here's a closer look on Storm Shield radar. Severe thunderstorm warning continuing for the next few minutes for much of Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County. That goes until 10:15, but a new warning for southern parts of Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County. So a little bit of an extension that includes Campbellsport. Uh, that goes until 11 o'clock, and then it goes down into Ozaki County as well until 11 o'clock. And this storm is still very potent. This is where we're likely seeing the strongest winds, uh, just to the west of Plymouth near the Campbellsport area, just to the east of there. Mitchell likely seeing some winds potentially up to 60 miles per hour and also some small hail. But the big threat for this is winds. Here's a look at the velocity data showing potentially some wind gusts up over 60 miles per hour. So these storms still very strong and severe as we get deeper on into the evening. But these storms will be moving on out and things are going to quiet down for the rest of northeast Wisconsin, already doing so for many of us. And we've been dropped through most of the viewing area from that severe thunderstorm watch, but it continues for our far southern counties where those storms are right now until 1 a.m. But when once those storms roll through, everything's going to quiet down. So if you're watching us from down to the south, things will get better over the next hour or two. There were several reports, though, of severe weather, some trees down across parts of Calumet County, also in O'Connell County as well. And we had several uh, pictures sent into us on our Facebook page. This one from Mark in Fish Creek, some of the Mamatis clouds from some of the storms, and then a nice shelf cloud from Danielle as she was driving north on 41 heading into De Pere. And a lot of torrential rain as well. It'll be interesting to see rainfall reports that come in overnight, but definitely a lot of rain from these storms and vivid lightning, quite the light show. We have some great videos on our Facebook page if you want to check those out. But still going to be stormy down across southern parts of the state. But for the rest of us here in Green Bay, things are quiet. Just some lightning off in the distance, 67 degrees after that rain rolled through. Temperatures right now where the rain has come through, temperatures in the 60s, and we have some 70s still where the rain wasn't as heavy or for folks that missed out on the rain. The cold front that produced these storms will switch our winds to the north overnight, and that's going to bring in some cooler and drier air. It's still very sticky out there, but once this cold front slides on through, we're going to see some much more comfy conditions for the rest of your weekend. Drier air to the north is going to move on in. So you'll notice it by tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be much more comfortable. Highs tomorrow only in the 70s, and we'll be seeing mostly sunny skies as well. So storms pushing out of the area. We'll see some clouds in the morning, but then increasing sunshine. A much more comfortable day and a quiet day for all your outdoor plans. But tonight, those storms coming to an end. They've already done so for most of us. It'll be quiet for tomorrow, up to 75, mostly sunny. Here is that seven day forecast. Breezy tomorrow as well. Monday looks quiet and then it turns very warm, very humid, and we'll have some more storm chances through the middle of the week. It was very scary earlier tonight. Wow. Because yeah, we heard it here and you and kind of just it echoes. So hopefully everybody was safe and made it through and stayed yeah. inside. Yeah, but now things will be quiet and the rest of the weekend looks great. Kudos to the Facebook Live. He was doing it for so long. Oh my God. <laughs> it was a busy evening. All right, Matt. Thanks so much.